So welcome back to another video. Today I've got something quite special to bring to you. It is a home cinema amplifier awarded best home cinema amplifier from Watt Hi-Fi and it's from Sony. It's the STR DN1080 cinema amplifier with Dolby Atmos support, DTSX support, with a stack of other features such as AirPlay, Google Chromecast support, NFC, Wi-Fi, uh, the, the list is literally endless. So let's take a look at it in a little bit more depth and show you what I think of it. As always, I think it's very important to understand on exactly what is available on these products straight away. So, it's a 165 watt home cinema amplifier with 7.2 channel capability, giving you a absolutely rich immersive experience from a surround sound point of view. Now, it comes with Dolby Atmos support, so it's really giving you this um, immersive and ultra realistic um, experience from your, your music or your videos or your films that you may be watching. It also as well comes with DTSX support. Now this is giving you a totally different experience when it comes to audio. It actually tries to base audio on an object basis. Now this allows for real life audio experience. So in effect you feel that if you are listening maybe to an orchestral piece of music or you're listening to something whereby it's an audio based um, on maybe a film or a video or something you actually feel as if you are there. It replicates pretty much real life experiences. So from my point of view that is absolutely amazing and I think having that support in there really does give it that extra bit of benefit. So some of the other features that come on here are things like Google Chromecast support allowing you to cast audio and video directly to the amplifier and through out onto either speakers or onto the television. We also as well have AirPlay support, so from Apple AirPlay, allowing you to do pretty much exactly the same but with Apple's version. We also as well see things like NFC support, so I can do a one tap touch with a mobile device directly on this amplifier to connect that device up so I can do things like play music or video directly through it. We also as well have things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, 2.4 and 5 gig AC support, so again giving you that high level of connectivity. It also as well has an Ethernet port and a whole raft of other features like FM radio, USB and multi-room audio. Now the multi-room audio is a wonderful thing because what you can do is you can take multiple Sony speakers and attach them all together to be able to have a rich experience of transferring music from one speaker to the next or combining them all together so you can have a really brilliant experience from maybe a party or you're just wanting multiple rooms to be able to hear the exact same music. And I think the fact that I cannot cover off all of these features that are available on here just shows how feature rich this actual machine is. And no wonder what Hi-Fi awarded it the Home Cinema Amplifier of the Year in 2017. So let's have a little demo and see what it looks like, see how it works and how it sounds. But also as well, I'll give you my opinion on what it's been like to be able to use this. So what I've really liked about this amplifier is the fact that it's really versatile. So I've got the ability to put in six different HDMI inputs. So I could have in there maybe a PlayStation, or I could have a streaming device, or I could have my TV or my Skybox all plugged in at the same time. I can use this one remote from Sony to control all of them functions and be able to actually change things like the settings for the sound or the input of what I'm watching. So really, really handy from that point of view because again, it's sort of consolidating all of them different inputs that you may want to put into your television, but don't actually have enough HDMI inputs. So again, it's really expanding out that range and really sort of bringing together that one point of contact, and that's the remote. 
Now again, you can use the application that you can download onto Android or iOS devices. So again, really giving you that flexibility. So I think that versatility and that consolidation to allow you to bring together absolutely everything you may need, but also as well, you're not having to put together loads and loads of different cables or HDMI adapters or splitters. So it's really giving you the best quality for video and sound. So as always, I'm a big believer in actually showing you how these things work and what they look like, but giving you my honest opinion. So let's see in a little bit of action. So what I've got is I've got Netflix running on the background on this screen over my shoulder and I've got the input coming in from Netflix. So the input goes into the HDMI on here and the output is going out to the HDMI on the screen. Now again, it could be multiple different sources going in with one source going out. So really, really handy from that point of view so my TV doesn't need multiple inputs. So what I can do here is I can control the sound and I control the different inputs and what I want to be watching on the screen. But one of the big things that I got on here is instead of having to control the unit on the front panel and being quite limited in what I can actually see, there's a more graphical way of being able to interact with the amplifier. So if I press this home button on the front here, what will happen is it will bring up the user interface on the screen. So really handy from that point of view. So let's press home. And what we'll see on the back over here is the actual menu come up. So on there, what I can do is I can do things like I can change from the watch, so I can select which input that I actually want to be using. So again, I've got things like Blu-ray, DVD, game, so you might be using a PlayStation or something like that. I can also as well go to things like TV and my different sources. So if I come back out of that, what I can do also as well is I can go to things like listen. So on the listen menu, I've got things like my FM tuner, my cast, my also as well, my music services list, so that might be Airplay, Google, or Spotify, using the Spotify Connect service. So the really nice thing that comes from that is being able to actually see it in real life and being able to actually control it so much easier, but really it's, it's so easy to understand. So I think the nice thing about Sony is that they've put a lot of research in regards to how people interact with the amplifiers. And there are people that don't really want to interact with the front end of this because it can be quite complicated. It is a steep learning curve to look at things like home cinema amplification. But I think the nice thing with the user interface is it's very simple, straightforward and really easy to use. So what I'm going to do is set a little bit of a video going and we'll listen to some of the voices and the sound that comes out of the unit. So no spoilers or anything, so I'll just pop it on the trailer and all we need to do is we just need to turn on the volume. So I'm just pressing the volume key down here and it's automatically already knowing that I'm playing the HDMI source through here and it's popping it straight through. So one of the things Sony have brought into this amplifier is the fact that if you only have two speakers running off it, and again you can run up to a maximum of seven on this, if you've only got two, it actually replicates the full surround sound mode, allowing you to still have that really rich, immersive, real life audio experience, but only from two speakers. Now it also as well allows if you say you have five speakers, it's got what's called phantom surround mode and what it does is it replicates the last two speakers which are the very very back ones to be able to give you that seven channels rather than actually having to have actual physical seven speakers so again really giving you that ability to say okay I may start off with a couple of speakers move up to some more and then move up even to more then I think it's really flexible in how you would approach your cinema and actually deploying that in home. So that's really nice of Sony not to be able to say you have to buy all of your speakers in one go and start deploying them in that manner. So nice one there Sony. So either I can use my mobile device to be able to use the Spotify Connect client and I can immediately connect to this amplifier through Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or NFC or I can do it directly from my remote control. So if I select the home button and what I can do is I can select on listen. What I've got further down here is the music services. So this allows me to go to different streaming services. So what I have as options are Google Chromecast and also as well Spotify. So if I select Spotify, 
What it's doing is it's automatically knowing what Spotify service I have on my devices using Spotify Connect. And what it will do is it will bring up the last music that I was playing. So again, I can control it from my mobile device or I can control it from my remote here. So let's just press play and away we go. And there we go. Amazing. Uh, I, seriously, it, it just makes a big difference to me in the fact that I'm not having to clamber around for multiple remotes. I'm not having to worry about trying to use different applications or anything like that. I think it's a real benefit that comes from what they've achieved in regards to researching how people use these services. So all in all, what do I think about it? Well, my honest opinion really is the fact that this is a mind-blowing home cinema amplifier. There are some niggles with it. There are no DAB service on it. That would have been really nice to have seen, especially given the fact that it's got all of these wonderful features such as NFC and Wi-Fi and Google Chromecast and Google Home. I, I could literally list these off for an hour. I think the big thing is, is that these simple things like DAB would have been a really nice addition. I think also as well one of my niggles on here is the fact that this is quite a limited screen at the front. Again it's quite confusing to actually go through the menu systems and where you are within the menu systems. You do have to refer to the user manual quite a bit. Now again, having the user interface on the screen makes a massive difference. And I mean, you know, you just click the home button and hey presto you're actually into the menu system. And I think that's really nice. But people who are not using it for visual, they're only using it for audio purposes, I think would have benefited from an easier to read and easier to understand screen. Apart from that, I think it's an absolutely amazing box. I mean, it's just got so many features. I mean, having also as well the ability for auto power off. So if it's not in use, it will power down and it will save you money in the long run. And I think that's a really nice benefit. I mean, I've had amplifiers in the past that I've forgotten to turn off. You know, they, they use quite a lot of energy when in full use. And you know, if you've got that powered off, that's going to save you quite a lot of money over the long term. And I think Sony have just brought together a package that delivers more than I would have expected, but also as well giving you that future proof that's going to give you audio and visual services in a home entertainment system to last you for pretty much a lifetime. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you've got any questions, as always, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer anything you may have. And also as well, to stay tuned for more videos, click that subscribe button. Look forward to seeing you in another video.